Okay, so we're here at Logan House Kennels. And um, based off of Breeder's recommendation, we've narrowed it down to these three pups. And little White is his favorite. <laughs> you can tell she's a she's a scrappy little thing, huh? We're gonna go run him through some tests that they wouldn't have gone through. So he's already done all the tests as far as their how nervous they are around new environments. They're all solid. They've been around new environments the last couple weeks. He's taken them on the road. He's done a lot of bite work with them. As you can tell, they like to bite. And um, they've actually been, had started in uh, detecting heroin. So we might find some interesting things when we go hunting back home. <laughs> 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 See why he likes white. Yeah, white's all business. Look at that. <laughs> I wonder if white's hungry. Hmm. You're part me. You're part me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little shake. Yeah. She's all curious about everything else. She just wants to eat me. You just want to eat me. Don't pull a chain. How you just want to eat me? You must be a gotcha or something. I see what you mean by you like the white. <laughs> yeah, her grip is pretty nice. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. If they don't avoid it. Yeah. Because you can train a dog. And, and you know about these dogs better than me, so maybe I'm worried about nothing. You can train a dog to, to go through walk, just fine. Mm -hmm. But what's what's frustrating for me is when they're constantly like this. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm like this. Oh, I got to cross again. Oh. Uh, and then they cross. Yeah. That. <laughs> and it's like just stand in the water. I know it's like not the most pleasant thing in the world. But just stand in the water. And that little avoidance, they're, they're more than happy to go through it, but that little avoidance will cost lost muskrats, lost me. Yeah. And if they're just as happy to walk in the water as they are on the land, that's what I'm looking for. And then the other thing is tight spaces. Dogs, you can teach a dog with drive. Oh, oh if you squeeze in there, you'll get it but they'll always have it kind of in the back of their head. I'd prefer to not work the brush. I'm going to work the side of the brush. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I'm going to let you go. Joe's going in places I don't even want to go right now. Me either, but I got to be camera guy. <laughs> After thoroughly testing pink collar for water avoidance, I then moved on to my second test. I walked through the thickest, thorniest, toughest patch of brush I could find to see if the puppy would willingly follow without too much coaxing. Pink Collar did okay. She was pretty hesitant, but she did her best to follow me. I then moved on to another test where I climbed up on some slippery logs to see if Pink Collar would follow. I wanted to test her willingness and ability to follow me through this next little obstacle course. I was looking for good balance and strength, but I was also, more importantly, looking for a willingness to follow through this weird terrain. Once I was done leading Pink Collar through the jumble of slippery logs, we moved on to the little black collared puppy to test her in the water. Just like the pink collared puppy, the black collared puppy walked through the water without the slightest concern. She was very comfortable just walking in the water or on land. It didn't seem to make a difference to her. So both puppies passed the water test with flying colors. One thing that I really liked about the black collar pup is she had a lot more drive than the pink collar. She would attach herself to my leg and just hang and shake and hang and shake and she never got tired of it. I really liked that determination and little extra feisty attitude. That extra drive and determination shows a good potential for a hunting dog. Another thing I noticed about the black collar pup that I really liked is she was much stronger and had far better balance than the little pink collar pup. She also had a little more determination at following me through the slippery jumble of logs. He's definitely, like, he's, he's showing way more 
I'm comfortable with this than that other pup. I'm really liking this. Do you think the other pup was more interested in water though compared to him? No, they seemed identical to me. Okay. But the other one, when she got in the brush, and see, this is something you could teach. You give them drive, you build their confidence. But what's ideal, of course, is one that doesn't care from the first time you walk through the brush. It's just another obstacle. And it's kind of a claustrophobia thing. See how he's squeezing in these little spots? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm looking for. This is why I went to this pile, not just for the brush, is also for this log pile. Okay. Does he, without any encouragement, feel totally comfortable doing it? That's what I'm asking. Because it's so much easier to take a dog who it's already natural to and encourage it, and they're, they're a pro. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that's why, and the fact that I was able to find ways to finance it, I flew all the way out here, is because this is just weird little quirky stuff that you test everything else. If you notice, I haven't even asked you how they buy, I haven't even asked you to show me how they bite, because I already know yeah. you're gonna tell me how it is. And you could have told me that over the phone and just get it, but all this weird little goofy, quirky, yeah, sure. This is why I flew out here. <laughs> huh, and I really like what you're showing me a lot, little, little, I almost called her little man, little girl. And there's no encouragement, I haven't had to call her once. She just wants to do it because I'm here, and oh, this is fun, and, <laughs> and she, she falls or something like that. Her head went right into the little spot. Oh, that was a good climb. Come see this little hole. I want to see what you think of holes. We'll make you a ginormous terrier. That's a good climb there, too. Yeah, she's got good balance. Come follow me through here. Look at all this crazy brush. I'm gonna see how she does it, and then I'll cut around the other way. This is a little trickier than where we came. She's like, I'm going the easy way. You're crazy. Come on. Up, 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 up. Good girl. She solved it. Yeah, I'll do it from a distance, sure. So if you see, there's like a little path right there. I wanted to see, would she go the easy route or just follow me? Just out of curiosity, like how how adverse is she to walking through thick stuff is basically what I'm trying to find out here. She didn't care at all, she just followed me through. Actually, if you want to stay there. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. I, actually, maybe, Next, we got out the white collar puppy and walked her through the same tests. We started out with the water, and white collar took a little bit more notice to the water than the other pups did at first, but once she got her feet wet, she was comfortable and had no problem following me around in the water, just like the other puppies. They're nine yeah. weeks old, you know? <laughs> nine weeks old, still eat your ankle. Hate me. Just like the black collar pup, the white collar pup was real feisty and had a good amount of drive. <coughs> After that, we brought her over to the brush to see how she would do walking through the thick brush and thorns. Well, this is where she really hit a wall. White collar, unlike the other puppies, refused to push through the brush at all. Oh, that spot's kind of hard, huh? I'm going back the way I came. Oh, that's hard too, huh? Oh, what? Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Come on. As soon as it touches her chest, she's just like, nah. Yeah, she, she's having a harder time in the brush. Kind of like the pink. That middle one had no problems though. So any, what differences have you noticed? You said they're pretty similar. What yeah, differences have you noticed? What we've done since we've been on the road, as far as detection, imprinting, and dry building, and grip development. Don't bite thorns. And environmental yeah. exposure. They've all been real similar. The only, the only thing that I've noticed is this particular talking. puppy has actually bitten with a little bit. You can see it even. Oh more. yeah. She, her grip is fundamentally a little more correct for what we like in as a police dog, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, but I have, obviously, they have, I haven't exposed them. I haven't shown them this or evaluated yeah. them, you know, on this this type of terrain yet. Yeah, this is totally different, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I'm seeing more about them out here in the woods. Clearly, the, the this one is giving up a little faster than yeah. the the black collar puppy, yeah. who seemed to push through things with a little more commitment. 
So we made our decision, finally picked my pup, now I gotta pick a name. So I really like this pup. The reason I chose her, she's got good solid drive. And as you saw in the video, she was way more comfortable with crashing through brush. They were all pretty equal in water. She maybe had a slight edge, but it might have just been opinion rather than actual fact she had a little edge. But definitely had an edge in the brush. Way more comfortable climbing up on stuff and crashing through the brush, and I liked that. And um, so yeah, it, it actually wasn't a hard decision at all. She really, she really won my heart over, and she's winning it even more. Look, this little calm attitude. I kind of like that she's not constantly after it. Obviously you want a good energized working dog that'll go all day but kind of sometimes too much energy ends up wearing them out rather than letting them go all day they get tired because they're going all day they're going too hard too fast so i i'm not an expert in dogs I, i'll be a liar if i said that i am i'm not an expert in this breed at all i'm a total novice but in my opinion she's going to be a better fit and i really like her and i'm i don't have no questions about which one i picked i just got to figure out a name now